Thank you for watching this video tutorial on cropping as well as working with the resolution. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open up the image that I just saved to my T drive. I'm going to go ahead and open it up in Photoshop Elements. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to where I saved that image, which would be my documents, the T drive. So I'm going to go ahead and double left click on the My Documents. It looks like a folder here. Um, or wherever you saved it. Um, hopefully, if you know, you're not in this class and you saved it to somewhere on your computer, you know where it is. So you can call it up. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the Major League Baseball logo that I just saved. And I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to go Open With Photoshop Elements. If it's not there, just go to Choose Program. And you will see Adobe Photoshop Elements. And that way, you can just hit OK. Um, if you decide you want to click on the Photoshop elements, there's another way to open it, which I'll talk about in a second. But um, when you're using the Photoshop elements, if a window pops up and it says ignore profile, just click don't show again and click um, uh, uh, ignore. Um, also, when the, video, uh, the image shows up, um, it might ask you to register. Just click do not register. Don't give them any information. Um, and then hit uh, don't show again. Um, so going back to the Photoshop Elements icon, let's say you double clicked on the icon and you wanted to open up that way. You just double click on the PSE where it says Photoshop. It opens up. You click Ignore Profile or Don't Show Again. Um, and then Do Not Register. And then there will be an orange Edit button. Make sure you click that orange Edit button. And then um, File, Open, and then make sure you go to your My Documents where you saved the image last. Okay? Or it's otherwise known as the T drive. So that's a couple ways to open up your document. So the first thing I'm going to focus on now is cropping. Okay, Cropping is really super important to make sure that our image is, um, doesn't have extra stuff on the outside. We're going to minimize um, the space that we want so we can focus on pixelating the main image. Um, there's a couple ways to crop. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit C for the crop tool. And you'll notice it looks like an old school kind of um, T-square. Um, this is back in the day when they didn't have computers. So they, um, that's how they used to crop and you know, cut it out. Well, now we're going to use the crop tool by hitting, again, C for the crop tool. You'll see in parentheses, C is a shortcut. And there's a couple things I could do here. Um, I could actually set my aspect ratio, which is a set um, crop selection, um, to specific pixels that I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead, and the width will be the longer one. So I'm just going to go 600. And then the height, right? I'm going to go a little bit shorter. Um, OK, change it to inches. So I see that that's an issue. So I'm just going to go ahead and resolve this by going to 600. And then I'm just going to go PX. And that way, it changes it to pixels. And then I'm going to go 400 and space PX for pixels. And that way, it'll do an aspect ratio and allow me to crop at a specific um, um, number of pixels. So I'm just going to click and drag. And you'll notice, um, if I hit the space bar, it goes to the area that I want. So again, I clicked and drag, left click and drag. And then I'm holding the space bar so the aspect ratio can fit to where I need it to fit. And then I just release um, the mouse left click. And then I release the space bar. Make sure you do it in that order. So release the left mouse click. And then I release the space bar so I have it in the right spot. OK, so um, one of the things that students get confused about is, OK, I want to go to the next tool. You have to make sure you crop or click crop the image or just check. That way, you can move on to the next thing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click crop, and it craps the image. OK, that's one way to crop the image. Another way to crop the image, again, I'm going to hit C. And I'm just going to get rid of this aspect ratio, um, no restriction. And um, I'm gonna just going to go ahead and select it. And now you can see that I have kind of free, uh, free reign of how I'm going to use this crop selection. But let's say I hold the Shift key. If I hold the Shift key, it restricts it to a perfect um, square. So that means that all the perimeters on the side are equal, um, each side. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the space bar and um, make sure that I have the, it kind of centered as best as I can in the square. Hold the space bar again and release the left click on the mouse, and then the space bar and shift key um, on my keyboard. Okay, Make sure you do it in that order again. Um, remember, you have to crop next. You can double click on the, in the um, selection, which is the dancing ant square. Or you can hit the check. If you don't want it, just hit the do not. Um, it looks like a do not parking symbol. That's what I call it, but there's no P. Um, anyway, it's, you can cancel that operation if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and hit check. 
Um, and I have kind of a nice square. You could always make the adjustments um, to how you want, but um, it looks it's all the sides are equal in relation to the um, into the image. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you a little bit about resolution. Now, if you were to customize it, you could change the resolution. And good printing resolution is 300. Good web resolution is 72. Okay. Obviously, you're not going to print off something with less resolution than 72. You're just going to use it for like websites and so forth. But if it's 300, you would print it off. Now, the purpose of this pixel image is we're just going to have it on the computer. So we're going to want to focus on a 72 resolution. We're not going to print these out because um, we're going to use this image probably for our projects such as a Lego. Um, you know, using it as a blueprint for our, our Legos to place our Legos or um, our Post-it Notes uh, project for pixels. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Control Alt P. Okay, let's try that again. Let's click out of that resolution. Control Alt P. Oops, I accidentally hit the wrong thing. So I'll just hit Escape on that. Control Alt I. That's what I want. Control Alt I. That's the image size. Um, and so Control Alt I, not Control Alt P. I, I mix that up. I make mistakes too. I wish I was perfect. Um, and you'll notice that the width and the height are the same because I made a square. And um, same in inches as pixels. Um, the resolution is 72. Um, that's OK because we're using it for the web. Um, you want to make sure that um, if we are using it for the web, that you're in the 600 range or the 500 range. Now, um, you'll notice that the height didn't change, so I'm going to hit Control z to undo. I'm going to go ahead and constrain proportions. So that way, you can see they're linked, which means that if you do it to the width, you're going to do it to the height. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it to 600. And so we have the width and the height the same because we use the square. It's constrained. Um, and um, we're at 72 because we're using it for the web. I'm going to hit OK. And that's going to be the size you want. Sometimes when you hit Control-Alt-I and the width is going to be like um, 1,200, um, that's a super high um, pixel. Um, ratio, you're going to want to change that to probably like 600. Because again, we're using it for web purposes. If it was for printing purposes, you're going to want a higher, um, a higher uh, pixel um, ratio. So again, here we go. This is how we crop an image um, and use the resolution. Um, I hope it wasn't a bunch of crop. Uh, oh, did I say that? Um, sorry for the bad jokes. Um, but it's just part of the tutorials. And I hope you enjoyed um, working with um, uh, the uh, cropping and resolution. Thank you.